Dear students, today we are going to talk about causative verbs uh, and uh, <laughs> yes, okay, you might have heard about causative verbs uh, in your schooling as well, uh, but uh, you see, uh, yes, these are some of the causative verbs that you must be uh, knowing uh, in English. So, what are they? Make, have, get, let, and help. Make, have, get, let, and help. First of all, you should know that how, say, what kind of verbs are called causative verbs. Okay, so here is a definition for, of causative verbs here. So, causative verbs are the verbs that cause somebody or something to do something. Okay. Let me say, causative verbs are uh, the verbs that cause somebody or something to do, do something. Uh, let me say, uh, your work, your work to be done by somebody else. Okay. So, these verbs are very different from causative verbs or I mean to say, these verbs may have two roles. Sometimes these verbs are used as the action verbs, main verbs in a sentence, but sometimes the very verbs are used as causative verbs. What are they? You see, make, have, get, let, help, yes. These are the causative verbs. So, these verbs may have five of their different forms. Let us call it uh, make, made, made, making, makes, have, had, had, having, has, get, got, got, getting, gets, let, 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 bob 1, bob 2, bob 3, let, 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 letting, lets, help, 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 sorry, help, helped, helped, helping, helps. Now, let me clarify it with example, how the very verb can be, can sometimes be action verbs or let me say uh, main verbs and sometimes be causative verbs. Here is an example. Yeah. I have I have a book. I have my friend. I have my friend write an an essay. I have my friend and I have my friend write an essay. I have a book. I have my friend write an essay. So, you see these two examples. Here in this first sentence, uh, yes, the word have or let me say the verb have has been used as its main verb. Main verb. It, has, it, is, it is working as an action verb. But here in this uh, second sentence, you may see, I have my friend write an essay. Okay, it, it means I is not the primary person to do the work. Yes, I is not the primary person to do the work. Rather, who is the primary person? Friend is the primary person. There is somebody else. Yes, somebody else is doing the work of writing an essay. Yes. So, in that sense, we use causative verbs. Okay. Generally, in English, we have got five different types of causative verbs. So, as I have already told you, make, have, make, have, get, let, and help. Okay? La. So, each of these causative verbs, each of these causative verbs have their different roles here. Let us say, make, have, get, let, and help. Yes, make the verb make the causative verb make always gives the force force or 
if we force someone to do our work, we use make them. If we assign some tasks, let's say if we assign our work to somebody else, then we use have. If we uh, use get, we convince our work to be done by others. If we use let, we allow someone or something to do our work. Okay, that is what is uh, related more with the giving permission. Yes, next one is assist. Assist. So, help is assist to help someone, support someone. Okay, yes, these are the causative verbs. Yes, uh, when, we, when we come to their particular use, these verbs are completely, uh, what to say, um, different. They have got different forms when we use them in particular sentence. La. These are the different rules of causative verbs. Number one is, rule number one is subject, all three causative verbs, let's, let's call it make, have and get, subject, make, have, get plus none isn't here. Eh? I mean to say object, not doer not doer of the action, object of the, object, let's say, yeah, that is non-agent, the one who does not do the action, plus past, past participle, okay, yes, let's talk about the example here, subject plus make, have, get plus non-agent plus past participle, here is an example, I have my house painted, okay, so instead of I have, you can use the word make as well. I make my house painted. I get my house painted. The meaning that they carry is different, but if we talk about them structurally, yes, they, they almost take the same structure. Yes, you can use the, what do you say, you can uh, bring the changes in tense here as well. I'm having my house painted, I'm making my house painted. I'm getting my house painted. Yes, whatever you, you use, the form of tense, whatever the types of tense you use, that does not matter. Okay, let's let's give you an example. Here, yeah. I have had my house. I have had my house. Painted. I have had my house painted. Or you can say, I am having my house painted. I am, sorry, I have my house painted. I am having my house painted. I have had my house painted. Yes, whatever the sentence you use. Or she has her house painted. If we use it singular noun, she has her house painted. She has her house painted. She has her house painted. Now, whatever I you see, whatever the sentence, the form of the sentences may come there. So, what we always use is uh, whether there is any of these causative verbs or not, and then we we go for whether there is agent or non-agent. If we if there is agent, we have got separate rules. If there is none isn't then we should go for these uh, what to say these pa this part past participle La. so I, I I have got my house painted I have made my house painted I'm making my house painted I'm uh, I have uh, been making my house painted yes whatever the sentence some forms of sentences you go for subject plus make have as in sorry make have get plus non agent plus past participle so this uh, is uh, with the non agent so with agent hey with the doer of the action we have got two different uh, uh, what to say uh, rules here so the second one is subject plus make have subject plus make have plus agent plus infinitive subject plus make have plus agent plus infinitive this is rule number second okay you see there if 
you bring make and have if you bring make and have an agent then you should use infinitive only verb one okay here is an example i make my brother write an essay i have my brother write an essay i am having my brother write an essay i am making my brother write an essay so whatever you write okay so you should be careful whether there is agent or not whether there has come agent or not if make have plus agent then you should go for infinitive bare infinitive i mean to say only infinitive not two plus bob one okay so this is rule number second let's talk about uh, it with examples here La. i make i make him i make him write an essay I make him write an essay. I have him. I have my father. I have my father by me a chocolate. I have my father buy me chocolate so uh, this is how we write second structure eh? subject plus make have plus agent i make him write an essay i have my father buy me a chocolate so have my father is isn't here doer of the action here i make make him is the doer of the action so we have written verb one uh, here is the verb one. I make him write an essay. I have my father buy me a chocolate. Okay. So this is how uh, we use second structure. So let's go for third structure now. So third structure is third, sorry, rule is little different from st uh, structure number second. So this one is subject plus get plus agent plus two plus bow one. If there is make have as an agent, make have agent only verb one. If there is get agent, they should you should write two plus verb one. Let me repeat. If make have agent only verb one. If get agent two plus verb one. So let's clarify it with examples here. La, I get him i get him write an essay so you see i subject get him is object or doer of the action agent of the action, agent of the action so if there is get agent you should go for two verb one Hey, I get him to write an essay. I make him write an essay. I have him write an essay. But if there is get, I get him to write an essay. So this is what is the uh, three different structures of make, have, and get. Okay, let's go for the other types of verbs now la the, these are other types of i uh, would you say verbs let's let's go for let now yeah let is used only with the agent or let's say doer of the action it is not with the it is not used with the non agent eh? let me say the subject plus let plus agent plus infinitive so what is the example here the teacher lets me go out of the classroom. The teacher lets me. Here is, here is the verb. Let's me is the agent or doer of the action here. The teacher lets me go out of the sorry classroom. This is uh, as we have already talked. Let's 
is used to give permission okay now let's go for last rules that is subject plus help plus agent plus infinitive or to infinitive in this sense let me say uh, we can use infinitive or to infinitive it does not have strict rule here okay so you can go for either of the answers here he helps me complete or he helps me complete or to complete the project he helps me complete or to complete the project that means so you can use bare infinitive that means without to or you can use to infinitive that's your choice hey it does not have any rule so these are what we call the examples sorry these are the five different types of auxiliary sorry causative verbs yes i have got some questions for you here please go through these ones and uh, select uh, the appropriate verb that you should find here let's go for question number one he has his house he has his house now let me say he he has is one of the auxiliary verbs his house is object or let me say non agent subject plus any of the auxiliary verbs plus any of the auxiliary verbs plus object is there so you should go for verb 3 past participle the right answer is he has his house painted if there is make if there is get it does not make any difference say for example he gets his house painted he he has his house painted he makes his house painted whatever the forms of sentence is there you should go for past participle okay next one is the verb let yes yeah i let him go i let him to go is not the right answer i let him go i let him go no i let him go only verb one hey number three they made the engineers da -da -da the work on time they made the engineers to finish or finished or finish they made the engineers to finish or finish only yes you see made is one of the auxiliary verbs and what is there engineers is the doer of the action i mean to say the agents make agent then you should go for verb one so right answer is they made the engineers do the work on time okay they made the engineers do the work on time why it is not to fin finish is the right answer because there is no get okay? if there is get they get the engineers to finish the work on time if there is somebody else instead of engineers they have they made the house completed they made the house completed so it is not the case of non agent here la so i think you are clear with these examples number next is my father is helping my mother you see the tense is different here my father is helping my father is is helping now helping is the verb here hey helping is auxiliary verb my father is helping my mother so you can now go for uh, any answer you choose let's say two plus verb one or verb one okay my father is helping my mother do some kitchen works not done because done is used only with the past participle and non agent case my father is helping my mother did some work yes that's not the right answer the right answer is do number next i have heard my shoes i have heard my shoes polished i have heard my shoes polished okay i have whatever is here you see this is 
axillary bulb had i have had have bulb you should understand them them is they are have bulbs i have had my shoes my shoes is object okay have object then you should go for past participle i have had my shoes polished that's the right answer number next is gaurav us to write in essay to write is there now you see to write in which case we write to two plus one either this should be help or there should be get there should be the case of get okay or there should be the case of help but you see we see here we have got three verbs here get gets and the mix mix is not the right answer because there is two plus verb one mix is not right answer because mix isn't mix verb one so right answer is gaurav gets us to write an essay because gaurav gets to write an essay gaurav does not take gaurav is singular subject so it takes plural verb gaurav is singular subject so it takes singular verb get is plural verb so it is not the right answer so right answer here is gaurav gets to gets us to write an essay is the right answer now you go for next question now see dot dot me do the work see dot dot, dot me do the work do is verb here do verb that is verb one me so you should go for not get but something else like make have or something like this hey see have or see gets gets is not the right answer because it is in uh it is there is no two plus verb one hey eh? so it could be have verb but remember that c does not takes have c always takes singular verb or past verb so right answer is had c had me do the work c had me do the work next one is roma has her father roma has her father dot no, dot new clothes buy new clothes to buy new clothes or bought new clothes has her father her father is isn't here so doer of the action roma has her father buy new clothes okay let me repeat roma has her father buy new clothes La. these are some of the questions these are some of the representative questions that you might uh, uh, be appearing or you might get in your any kinds of examinations from this section let's uh, say from this section from this causative verbs okay